Hey YouTube, thanks for tuning in. Today I'll show how to use Pottery to develop a website embedded HTML um, using Pottery and the Amazon AWS service. It's a super easy thing to get started. You can create a free account, you can log in, and then you'll navigate into the S3. Once inside, you'll have to create a bucket is what it's called, it's just for general storage. But on this, you need to block all, or uncheck to block all public access and then create your bucket. Um, I've done that and then you need to go into your bucket and you need to set its permissions. So I've created a public read only for my bucket. And basically that will allow all of the public, anybody that's going onto my website from anywhere can then view the point cloud but can't change point cloud. Once you have that set up, then you can upload to this bucket. And the way that you do that is you'll go back into your objects tab. And um, if you don't already have Pottery, then you can get it. So you just go to this website click on this and download the correct version. Once extracted into your downloads, you'll have to navigate in a command line. So you'll copy the address there, open up a command line as administrator, or not as an administrator. I found that it doesn't work, or it doesn't matter. So actually you need to CD first and then go into it. DIR, enter, can check to make sure that your Pottery extension is there, the executable file, so it is. We're in the correct place. I create a text document and then I paste the following text. Uh, this is your input LAS-O and then your output folder that you want it to go into. So I create a folder for each Pottery object. And then you want to generate a HTML page and what name you want to give that HTML page. So uh, this you'll change, this you'll change, this you'll change, and the rest will stay the same. So once you have that, you can copy that and then paste it in there and hit enter and let it work through and create your Pottery object file. I've already done it. So once it's to the end of your window there, you can escape and then all that you need to do, navigate to where you output your Pottery to open up your S3 and open up the Pottery bucket is what I mean. And then you just drag it and drop it. Um, this Pottery example folder is this, it just has a different name. So once everything is uploaded, now you have a web server running Pottery and all that you have to do is copy your HTML link and paste this in as an embedded object. Um, you can also just share this link with someone and it will use your web server the same thing with the link. So it's accessible by phone or whatever have it. So once you have your permissions and your S3 bucket running, just drag and drop your Pottery in there and you're good to go. Open it up, make sure that it works. You can change your point budgets and everything like that. Everything works perfectly. Hope that you find value in this. I hope you have a good day.